Hello guys, it's Jonathan and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial. Today we'll learn what's the difference between Menomics secret recovery phrase to a private key in your wallet in MetaMask or any other wallets. So if you're familiar with crypto and DeFi and you asked yourself this question, now it's your time to get educated right here with me in Johnny Time. So watch this video to learn the difference, the exact difference between the two and also consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification button. So anytime I post educational videos about DeFi, you can watch them and become DeFi masters right here with me. Also, check out my channel. I have a lot of tutorials about MetaMask, blockchains, different ecosystem, different yield farming and DeFi protocols. So make sure to follow and join the Discord community where we create a new community. So if you have any questions to me and we have other talented and smart people right there to share our knowledge and evolve together and talk about interesting projects, protocols and learn together in this kind of crazy DeFi space. Join the link in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So you probably ask yourself what's the difference between Menomic and private key and now we're gonna address this question. So if you have a MetaMask wallet, you know that once you create the wallet, you get this kind of 12 uh, words which are called Menomic seed phrase, recovery phrase, and this is an example of how it looks like. This is the menomic phrase. It's a 12 words, sometimes 24 words, that have to be in the exact same order. So let's say you back up this menomic seed phrase, you will be able later on to uh, back up your wallet if you lost access to your computer or something happened to your computer, I don't know, something to the hard drive, to the browser extension, then using this kind of menomic phrase, you will be able to recover your wallet, but not only your single wallet, but all the wallets on all the accounts that are associated with this kind of menomic seed phrase. And the important thing is that the words have to be in the same order. So this is your menomic phrase. It's the most important thing in your wallet and if you lose access to this menomic phase, if someone hacking your, stealing this menomic phase is able to get access to all your accounts under this MetaMask menomic phrase and is able to control everything. If it's to send tokens to his wallet, if it's uh, unstake it from smart contract or basically everything that uh, this kind of wallet can do, he can do the same. So this is the menomic phrase and uh, basically it's the one that uh, creates the MetaMask wallets. Now, you all probably ask yourself, how come MetaMask can create more wallets? You can see right now that by default, you get one account, but if you create now, account two, and then you can create more and more and more and more and more accounts. How can it be without giving me more seed phrase, more secret re recovery phrase, but only with a given one a menomic phrase, how can MetaMask create multiple accounts? I can create right now another account, account, uh, how many accounts that uh, another account, I can name it, okay, right here on MetaMask. Let's see, so this is another account, I can add how many accounts I want only with the one secret recovery phase. And this is the cool thing about Menomic and secret recovery phase. Using this kind of uh, 12 words, there is some kind of algorithm that is able to generate unlimited wallets. It basically generates a pair of private key and public key. So this is an example of private key. And you can see right here, I have three accounts. So every single account that I just created has a public key, which is the wallet address, the one that everyone can see that does not expose my wallet to any risk. This is the public key. You can see you can copy it right here and maybe go to Etherscan and let's paste it here in the address. Let's just go to Etherscan and then paste the wallet address. And this is my public key. You can see that it's public. You can track this wallet on Etherscan or any other blockchain scanning pro, uh, websites like BSC Scan or Polygon Scan or whatever. It's the same EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine compatible uh, technology. And this is your public key. But also every account has the private key. Using the private key is your secret key that basically the MetaMask is using to sign transactions on your behalf. So every time you interact with a decentralized app with smart contracts, MetaMask is taking this private key and signing transaction and then sending them to the blockchain. If it's transferring 
uh, tokens, if it's sending Ether or BNB or transferring cake or staking in cake. Basically, that's what MetaMask does. And you, you, you understand it right? Using this monomic, there is an algorithm that enables MetaMask to create multiple accounts, multiple pairs of private keys and public keys. So every one of them simulates or represents a wallet. So you see every account is a different wallet and they can all be recovered by this kind of monomic seed phrase. So the monomic seed phrase is more powerful than the private key because the private key represents uh, the key to a single account, but the monomic phrase, seed phrase, the secret recovery phrase, the 12 words that you're familiar with, basically using these words, you can recover and restore all the accounts. That's how it works. That's the amazing technology of a private public key cryptography in a blockchains. And that's how MetaMask or most of the other decentralized wallets implement this kind of technology. So um, I hope that you learned something new today and you got educated about DeFi because this is my goal in this channel to give the most amount of value to the viewers that they can learn cool new things about the things that you're basically using day to day. You're probably using MetaMask every single day and you you ask yourself, what is this kind of monomic? What is this kind of private key? What is this kind of a public key? And now hopefully you understand what it is and what's more important, what's less important. So monomic is the most powerful thing and private keys basically represent a key for every single account. If you forgot, if you basically uh, back up the private key, you'll be able to recover, let's say only account two or only account one. But if you back up the monomic seed phrase and the, this kind of 12 words, you'll be able to uh, recover all the accounts that are associated with this monomic seed phrase, these 12 words. So they are super powerful. Make sure to back them up in a safe place. Don't give any access to any one of them. No, don't expose the private key or the monomic phrase. Because both of them are important. Monomic is more powerful. Now, if you like this video, please help me by clicking the like button and joining my uh, community here on this course. Subscribe and click the bell notification button and become part of Johnny Time a DeFi community. And let's become DeFi masters educated together. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below or just join the Discord community, DM me or ask here in the general chat or in the support and everyone will be happy to help you out. Thank you so much for learning with me and I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye.